Hello and welcome to our podcast. I'm Risa. I'm Mariana. And we're the Krollmeister Sisters. Just as a reminder, this podcast is rated T for Teen for strong language and mild, no, mature themes. <laughs> mild themes? We talk about cheese for a while. <laughs> That's why it's rated for T for Teen for boring, boringness. <laughs> Super boring. It's actually rated uh, M for mature because you we need... We talk about taxes. <laughs> <laughs> Tax code. Mm-hmm. You know. Talk about like my good... deductions. If <laughs> you would like a podcast about Nancy Drew that, you know, sticks to Nancy Drew and maybe isn't crude or whatever's supposed to happen here... Um, <laughs> <laughs> then go check out her very own podcast, Unlocked. Now, if you are paying attention to the numbers of these podcasts, <laughs> you will notice that this would be the second one of our night when we record podcasts. Therefore, <laughs> I am drunk. Yeah. And <laughs> I'm still feverish. So, so you are in for a wild fucking I'm feverish ride. and slightly drunk because I'm killing the germs. Killing the germs with whiskey. I'm a really bad role model. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes just realize that. <laughs> so what are we talking about today? <laughs> today we're talking about pretty music. Pretty music. That's the best thing to talk about. <laughs> we are talking about the 10 games we think have the best soundtracks. We could not rank these. It is no. way too hard. Music really is tried. so different. I almost cried. Doing There's that. no way to try and actually rank these um, because they're so good in so many different ways. There's no way to actually say one is better than the other in a lot of them. So instead, we've broken <laughs> them up into three, three separate um, categories. That's the word I'm looking for. We separated them into three different categories. We separated them into jaunty and setting appropriate, haunting and atmospheric. As well as banging in their own right. I named all of these. And potpourri. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you sound like Alex Trebek I naming know. the categories. I wanted to make it clear for everybody listening and seeing. That's where I went with it. <laughs> yeah, I, I understood at least. Uh, so for Jaunty and uh, Setting Appropriate for 200, Alex. Um, no, I'm <laughs> I'll stop. First, we wanted to talk about something that's worth stating, is that all of the old games, so we're talking about Secrets of the Old Clock and earlier, they all have such great soundtracks. Such Part of it soundtracks. is because a lot of them were all done by, arranged by the same guy. If you go through to our, um, on our Tumblr, or our live blog of Secret of the Scarlet Hand... Um, we actually brought up the website of the guy who did all of it. That's right, we did, didn't we? So, <clears throat> if you go to his website, you can hear a lot of the stuff he did mm-hmm. for the Nancy Drew games, which is interesting. It's good. Um, but yes. Okay. Where do we want, what category do we want to start let's with? Be, honestly, let's do it the way we have it. Uh, so we'll start, start with Jaunty and Setting Appropriate. Jaunty and setting, setting Appropriate. So we have three games in this category. Um... That we think really counts. And the first one um, is Sh- Secret of Shadow, shadow Ranch. Ranch. I was just going to say Shadow at Water's Edge. Like, Not correct. Sha- I'm like, there's a shadow in this word, in this name. So, Secret of Shadow Ranch. Um, we think, like, part of that game, part of what makes that game so good to me is the soundtrack. Because no matter where you're going, you're hit there's with something. this, like, mm-hmm. Western music. And it's just yeah. so... I, um, in my review of, of the soundtracks earlier when I was looking for, uh, for, for their songs, um, I, I, it's really nice because you go from, like, there's the, the one that's labeled, um, like, Dirk, there's the one that's mm-hmm. labeled Francis, there's one yeah. that's, uh, they're, they're just, they're just so nice and, and themed to, yeah. to the character they're referring to or to the, the place there for, uh the, the the one where you're riding through the desert oh, and everything yeah. oh my god okay it's all so good and perfectly themed i have uh we have clips for each one so we're gonna play a little bit of it mm-hmm. for shadow ranch let's go this is the 
one for Francis. This is the one that I love. It's just so. I figured this would be the one that you would want me to grab. <laughs> I love it. So what I love, okay, I stopped. I stopped playing it. So what I love about those that just that soundtrack is just that it's so it really just sets it. Beautifully western. It is. And, and I mean, not like, you know, I, I, no, it's it's beautifully western and I don't know, you you expect that kind of sound from from really the the old movies that are supposed to be depicting the old west, you know, See, that's also sort of, partially it makes me think of um Frontierland in Disneyland. Yeah. It's definitely that. That's oh, the other part. Also, there's the... Oh my gosh, I can't remember which track it is. But there's the one that's like super like hyper jaunty. Yeah. And it makes me think of the um, the ice cream game on Neopets. <laughs> it reminds me of the music behind that. Yeah. <clears throat> that is the most, one of the most dated references I've ever made. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, that's funny. Apparently, there was someone on Twitch I was watching who was actually... Um, someone I would follow on Twitch who actually went to play Neopets minigames as a Twitch stream. So it's not super outdated. That's wonderful. I loved that ice cream game. Right? That was my shit. But yeah, so another <laughs> thing to me about this soundtrack is that... Oh, right? No, I am. Okay, so about this soundtrack specifically is that, you know, I my boyfriend's English. When I made him play this game, the music started playing and he just goes, music is really American. And I think <laughs> that, like, that's one of those things where it actually does really set put the setting then because even someone outside of the u.s can listen to it and be like this is set in america <laughs> right there's uh, the old west is the generalization of america that's you know that's i mean yeah <clears throat> it's, the, it's the part that stuck with people as the stereotype for us yeah and for a reason because it is i don't know we, we've all just kind of like made it you're like yeah that is legitimately fucking American. The Old West, that's America. <gasps> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's a good thing we don't feel that way about Australia. <laughs> Australia, that's the prison colony. <laughs> I guess let's send them to the colonies. Okay, sorry. <laughs> All right. Uh, the next one in, in our jaunty and setting appropriate category is Danger on Deception Island. We've talked before about how Danger on Deception Island soundtrack is just so good. Um, I'm going to play the clip for everyone to hear. I love this. It's like this. This one is this literally the, the jig one? Yeah, yes. this is the jig. I yeah, love I it. Know. It's so good. It's that is it's actually stuck in my head. I was I was gonna say it's actually one that I caught myself humming and been like, okay, didn't know I knew to hum that. Yeah. Okay. So I stopped that. Um. But I yeah I will literally start humming that sometimes. I love it because it is just so. Like the word jaunty was made to describe this music. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I was I was listening through all the all of the the different songs on the on the soundtrack and I was like, you know what? Um based on the fact that she put it in jaunty <laughs> and setting appropriate, I'm going to pick this song because it is the jaunty song. It is. It's the jauntiest song in all of Nancy Drew. The jauntiest jig. The jauntiest jig. I wanted to continue with ja sounds, but I could not think of any. Continue the jauntiest that. jig, Justine. Nope. Ever did. Damn it! Yeah. I thought I went in with such confidence. I know confident. you did. <laughs> the Dane John Deception Island soundtrack is just so. I think it just really, like, it, I don't know if it's super super setting appropriate, but it at least. I mean, it's just that we're by the sea and everything. I feel like it is just in that it's definitely a seaport town. Yeah, definitely. It's, I love it. Yeah, it's um. That's one of my favorite I don't, games. It's. It's one of those towns that is shaped by its, yeah. um, you know, location. Sea work yeah. culture. Um, it's like, I don't know. It, it, I, it's, I can't even, like, actually describe it because, like, it's that town. That town that, you know, you you go to and it it has its own soundtrack because it's sort of made itself on yeah. one particular thing. Definitely. Yeah, I think that's good. 
topic. So yeah. So our last one in this in this category Jean is something appropriate. A jaunty, a jaunty in setting appropriate games. Let's <laughs> go. That reminds me. I was watching a little bit of my of my vod for my last um, ransom of seven ships um, stream. And every time I turn to my cat to talk, I put on this weird voice and I don't realize I'm doing it in real life. But every single time I turn to talk to my cat, I'm like, oh, what's going on? What's going on, baby girl? How's it going? You turn into Sarah. Oh, hey, guys. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, but our last one in our daunting and setting appropriate category is Secret of the Old Clock. So I'm going to get that clip going. I went through a couple and I thought that this was the most I love it I love it <laughs> I'm gonna keep dancing to it oh should I put it I should have put it in our day yeah I don't know it's so sorry okay I'm done um <laughs> It feels like there should be ghosts dancing to it. It kind of does. If you understand does. what I mean. I, I, it makes me think of... Um, I mean, it's not quite, like, right for the time period. Because that... Specifically, that song, at least, is late 30s, early 40s. Um, mm -hmm. When they're supposed to be in 1930. But it doesn't really matter so much. Because, I mean, everything is anachronist, anachronistic, anachronistic in that game. Anachronistic. <laughs> so anachronistic. 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 Anachronist. Anachronistic <laughs> in that game. Yes, I went so... like that for five full minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it, none, none of it's actually like timeline appropriate, to be honest. But that's fine. So even though everything else in that game is anachronistic, I, I I'm so I'm fine with the music not being quite in time period because nothing is in that game. But it does still give you that whole old timey feel. It makes you think of like freaking. Mm, old movies it makes you think of actually to be honest music also makes me kind of think of modern-ish movies that are set in the past trying exactly. to be creepy um they, they very it very much makes me think of something in the 90 in a 90s tv show which is <laughs> meant to be that time period exactly. as opposed, yeah but yeah i think that's that's part of why i love that soundtrack though it's just it helps Okay. Moving on. To... Moving on to our next category of haunting and atmospheric. So obviously, we just came up with all of the soundtracks first, and then I came up with um, categories based on them. And these three specifically were just like, that's why I liked them is that they're so hauntingly beautiful. Um, yeah. So let's start with the first one. Haunting of Castle Malloy has haunting in the name. Let's listen to. <laughs> Let's listen to it. To be fair, I know this is set in England, but this track specifically makes me actually think of Yorkshire instead of Ireland. But uh, see, is she says that it makes me think of New Zealand, and I don't know. Uh, I don't know what it is. I don't know if I was like conditioned by the Fellowship of the Rings. Maybe or something. That's, yeah. That's... For me, it makes me think of the Secret Garden. Yeah. So. No matter what, I love it. Oh, it was beautiful. And it is a little bit eerie while at the same time being kind of, I don't know, it's nice and weirdly homey. It is. I think it's the strings. Yeah. I think it's that I, I had a bit of a, like, Celtic music obsession. Yeah. Between the ages of, like, 14 and 17. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's fine. Yeah. Um, but yes. So, I... I love all of the songs, <sighs> and obviously some of them are a little more here. Yeah, just like real quick. There, there's, there's the some jaunty-ish songs. Like there's, there's the one. The oh, drop of brandy. That's the one. <laughs> I like you do. That's the one that happens in the pub where you go into the pub to make the drinks. That's yes. that one. <laughs> Drops of brandy. Um, it's racist, yeah. but whatever. <laughs> It is. It's a little bit racist. It's a little bit racist. Game. The whole game is a little bit racist. Um, but yes, um, I just I love that soundtrack because it does it. It's 
adds to the creepiness. If you didn't have that hauntingly beautiful music in the background while you're going through there, you just kind of be it just kind of be boring to be honest because that game isn't like super interesting it's to begin with. <laughs> just, I love that game. I don't know what it is for me. To me, the music makes it pretty good. Yeah, I was gonna say maybe it's the music. It's also partly the the, the setting though. Yeah. I don't, and that and that's part of it. Uh, that one um, is. That particular track that I chose is entitled yeah. um, Fiona. Yeah. Because it is like that depressing music when you're thinking about Fiona, you know, being a dead little girl and then also growing up. To... <laughs> um, there's also several. No spoilers, though. Like, yeah, right. Uh, there are also like other ones that you should listen to. Like there's one that's like, I think it was called uh, The Nursery or. or something yeah, there's like. one called Nursery. Yeah. It, it, and it's, and it's, it totally encapsula- encapsulates the room. It's like. It is the epitome of depressing. Yeah, it really exploded is. Exploded dead child room. Not that the child exploded. Hold on. <laughs> dead child. <laughs> who? No. Okay. Exploded room of a dead child. Thank you. That's there. You go. Better. Much better. So the next one in this category of haunting and atmospheric is actually. Um, sea of darkness. I had to remember what that name was. I was like, it's sea of something. So Sea of Darkness, not really one that we've talked about much on here because um, Ariana's only played it once. Let me click on it. Let's... Yeah, I need to play it again. Uh, I didn't dislike it when we played it. <laughs> so this one isn't super haunting, um, but it's very beautiful. I disagree. You literally put in the notes. Oh no, that was the next one. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. This one is, is haunting. Um... This is actually the one that um, there's also a track where. No. Yeah, the word I couldn't keep, so the one where Elizabeth no. is singing. I'm no, gonna, this, no, this di- this is different. I'm gonna also play the word I couldn't okay. keep though. Okay, that, that that's one. great. Mm-hmm. How? <laughs> what, is, what is wrong with you? Four and sure behind me and a hundred more to go on stormy seas and starless nights. Okay, so that I one. I hear what you're listening to, so I'm having to fucking get I know. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it was, I stopped. It's done. It's, it's done. But it's I, I know done. The, the one that you went to. Yeah, but that's very pretty. It's super and pretty and it's uh, super. Then there's, um, uh-huh. anyway. It's the just uh, the music part of it um, mm. as one of the tracks because it's actually the one that's in the game. And then there's the music vo- box version, which is really kind of unsettling, but at the same time beautiful. It's like, this is the song that you listen to when you've learned that somebody has been <laughs> dead for 20 years. And... <laughs> So it's not like it's not like the haunting, uh, d- dancing bear. Uh, d- Once upon a December from yeah. from Anastasia. This I just is watched like that last night. Really? Yeah. That's weird. But no, yeah. This is this is like no. But she's been dead for twenty years. Sort of like oh. <laughs> Anyway, I suggest listening to it. Is basically what I'm saying. I listen to a lot of these. Um, in in recent times, in my uh, my ranks videos, I've taken songs from the games, and so to, to have playing during segments about them, and just go back and listen to all of these soundtracks because they're just fantastic. <laughs> I mean, that's the point of this. This well, no, episode. no, the point of this is is saying which ones have great soundtracks, but like just go listen. <laughs> them man they've got they got some great soundtracks okay the last one in our haunting <laughs> oh, and atmospheric pushing through me now. <laughs> i am because we've been going for 20 minutes and we're still only in the second uh, we're fine i know spy it's spy it's silent spy so let me click the example slightly less haunting but kind of devastating ariana lists Actually, all, honestly, most of the songs from this game are atmospheric in that they are setting up how depressed you are about yeah. Kate being dead, about, you know, how, the people that's affected. But yeah, 
basically all of them are. Yeah. <sighs> this. Called memories, though. Yeah, it's it's Nancy thinking back to, um, you know, the time she spent with Kate and shit like that. Um, and I think that's that that is a huge part of why the soundtrack is beautiful, is because it also is trying to invoke those emotions in us. So lots of lots of like sappy piano. Nice. Yeah, there's lots of sappy piano. <laughs> and I I am have always been a slut for the piano, so um Yeah. Yeah. Pianists, man. They've got great hands. <laughs> piano music is just like you now. So beautiful. It is. It's <sighs> great. <But> yes. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you with this bitch in Sonata. Anyway. Yep. <laughs> Exactly. Okay, so our last category, which actually has four things in it this time. Banging in their own right. <laughs> Banging in their own right. That's my that's me. That's me. Um <laughs> Reason categorize these. I want to, you know, make sure that's clear. I you know what? They're good categories. I should come up with all genres for music. <laughs> R and B. Mm, banging in its own right. <laughs> Super true, though. Have to admit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so for banging in their own right, I know banging is a, you know, not quite the right word for at least this first one. <laughs> ah! But you know what? I think it's awesome. So first one of banging in their own right is Shadow at the Water's Edge. So let mm -hmm. me pull up the pull up the example. Which is one of the more poppy examples. Yeah, definitely. Um, that's okay. Which, no, no, but that's not... And so you're listening to this. And, you know, it's kind of got that sort of eerie feel to it. So basically, all of the songs on this soundtrack are... They're different, you know, sounds, they're different genres. And then we've got this weird little j poppy kind of number. We've got all kinds of stuff. But they all have the exact same tonality, which is just heartbreaking and, and eerie and, and, and yet devastating. It's, it's very confusing and very. Dan's <laughs> I'm talking. I'm sorry, I'm still listening to it. Okay, I'm done. No, but yeah, that was no, that was the extent of it. Is I'm just <laughs> they there it's it's very nicely tied together soundtrack. Yeah. It is. And part of why I call this in the section of banging in their own eye, right is the fact every time I hear the music, I just want to start dancing to it. There's no not moving to that music. It's like... <laughs> right? So I just, every time I hear it, I need to dance to it. Which, um, for the next game, you guys will know that that's true. Because Ransom <laughs> of the Seven Ships. Every if single time, if you watched my stream... I would be in the middle of being super angry at a puzzle, and I'd still be like, <laughs> let's listen. <laughs> this is exactly the song I wanted. Thank you. I know. I'm not gonna let the whole thing play. I do fucking love it. Okay, I stopped. I'm done. So I love <laughs> all of the music in that game, which hugely redeems the game, to be honest. Um, yeah. But it's still like my f least favorite game. Um. Yeah. No, the music and the um, the 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 the, the, um, the art basically yeah. are really what save that game <laughs> and Honestly. make us not destroy the disc. <laughs> On purpose, at least. Um. But yeah, honestly, all of the music in that game just makes me want to dance to it. I can't not dance to it. Yeah, it's great. It's, I don't know. It's just... It, <laughs> definitely. My friend hasn't been kidnapped. I'm here on vacation. <laughs> to be fair, that is what makes it a little like there's some cognitive dissonance when it comes to it. Because exactly. it's like, I, I'm, that game itself just is hugely like cognitive dissonance. The cognitive dissonance in that game is ridiculous because it's like, I'm playing games with these monkeys. My friend has been kidnapped and might be dead. I'm having fun climbing up these cliffs. Wait. 
I mean, not to I think you know where Bess is, and I need you to tell me. <laughs> I know. It's just like, there's people on the island, and they might be watching us. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, pretty much. Pretty much. But that's fine. So the next one in this category for us is Crystal Skull, Legend of the Crystal Skull. Let's listen yeah. to that one. This one is entitled Bruno. Mm-hmm. It was my... Yeah, I loved it. There are some great uh, tracks on this one. So... To me, these tracks are just so good, and they're just so jazzy, because I know we're in New Orleans and everything, but it's just Yeah, like... there's a lot of Dixieland stuff going on. There's a lot of, of... I really love this one. This one's just nice and, like, mm, dark and brooding, and... Um, okay. I'll yeah, there's it. also some... There's this one, I think it's called Bayou, uh, that's, mm-hmm. like, it's sort of... Uh, Zydeco music, but not quite. Like, and by you, let's do it. That one. I think that's. I think that's the one. Yeah. I, I listen to all of them. It's so. <laughs> slightly like French sounding too. It gets into it, and it's like. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm good. But yeah, yeah it's seriously it. Like it sticks with the locale. It does. It very much sticks with the locale and with the um, general mood of the game, yeah. which is really good. But it also is just, they're just good songs on their own. So they're just like fun to kind of dance around with, you know? Yep. Oh my God, I love it. <laughs> I love it. And our last game in this same category and all of them that we think has a great, a great soundtrack banging in its own right. This one's a little different to me. It's <laughs> not... We had trouble putting this one in a category. It might have been a category on its own, but I still think it's banging in its own right. It is Secret of the Scarlet Hand. So let's go to that one. Yeah. So it has all these awesome Latin string sounds. This Latin guitar that's going on. Because we're learning about, you know, Mesoamerican culture and everything. So we're in this whole setting where we're learning about things that happen in Mexico. So they're giving us this beautiful... Like the drums with it and the guitar. I love it. I don't. Sorry. I um. I'm just. I actually use this particular track for um. My most recent um. Yeah. Ranking video. Um, <laughs> And I, I honestly, because I had, I had a lot of editing issues in that segment, so I got to listen to that song quite a few times. <laughs> I mean, it's so beautiful, though. I love it. I love it. No, no, that's what I'm saying is I really like just 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 the guitar to the in the very beginning. It's nice and um, yeah, actually flamenco sort of sounding style. Um, yeah, it's it's style, definitely which a classical is guitar style. When I was when I was training in classical guitar very briefly. Um, uh, this is this is the kind of sound that I I idolized yeah. for my own personal sound. I'm not gonna lie, this probably was part of why you liked it so much because we played That's this a game very distinct possibility. so many times. <laughs> we played this game so many times, and honestly, part of the reason why I don't hate this game is because the soundtrack is so good that it helps, and the setting of the game is so good yeah. that it helps. Otherwise, I probably would hate this game with every fiber of my being. Yeah. I was almost like, no, what's there to hate about? Oh, you know, the the parts where she totally mishandles artifacts and shit like that. That that sort of stuff. It's just a frustrating game. But, yes. Frustrating game. Still, the soundtrack is banging in its own right. Fucking banging in its own right. It's banging in its own right. So, if you guys think that we've missed out games with even better soundtracks, I mean, you might be right. There's distinct possibility. There's distinct we possibility. did talk about how great the uh, original ones are. So, yep, pretty much all of those games, uh, Secret of the Old Clock and Before It, are all just fantastic. Um, so this is just our opinion, and let us know your opinion. Leave us a comment on our YouTube, our SoundCloud, our Twitter, our Tumblr, 
are everything. All them social, wherever please, social media can be found. Please leave me a message in the sky. Rent one of those planes where you can write in the yeah. sky. But have you had to guess where we're going to be. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. So, you know, do that. Let us know. If I look up in the sky and I see, you know, I think Ghost Dogs of Moonlight had the best soundtrack, you're wrong. You know, I'll be like, thank you. (laughs) Thank you. I appreciate your input. (laughs) Well, to be fair, Ghost Dogs of Moonlight has a pretty dang soundtrack. I mean, it was was pretty close. It almost made the list. Um, (laughs) So just let us know. Um, and thank you guys for listening. I'm Risa. And I am Ariana. And we're the Crawlmeister sisters, and we're asking you guys to stay sleuthy.